the girls are all looking shell shocked. Meet Lionel. Lionel's in the house. <laughs> Bang on cue. He's a handsome boy. Out. There's a little man now. Doris hasn't been very well, so Lion was looking after her. So welcome back to French Countryside Life. It's a quick update for you. Um, just to cover what you saw at the beginning of this, we've got a new addition, Lionel. Now, um, Lionel was one of the flock that was owned by John, the fellow with the carp lake, uh, who's just sold it incidentally. Um, and, uh, there was two chickens left, Lionel and, um, and uh, another hen. And uh, the hen um, didn't make it. So Lionel was left on his own. So John was in a bit of a quandary what to do with it. So, uh, so we said, we'll have him. He's a little bantam uh, cockerel. And um, the reason it's called Lionel is uh, in cockley rhyme in slang, Flared trousers, you have to be over a certain age to remember flared trousers, but um, flared trousers in uh, Cockney Rhymey slang are called Lionels, after Lionel Blair. He was an entertainer from the 70s, uh, probably one of the only ones that didn't end up in prison. But, um, so that's why he's called Lionel, Lionel Blair, Blair. Um, because he's got... Uh, Feathers on his on his uh, on his legs that look like flare trousers. Anyway, so that's that. So anyway, the important thing is that uh, we're going to complete on this house on the first. Um, it's all going all going well. We're going to take the chickens down with all the accoutrement uh, down to the new house um, on the twenty eighth and um, drop them off. Um, there's a small issue in that we can't complete on our new house, which you've already seen, until the 7th. And the reason for that, in France, there's an organisation called SAFA. Now SAFA um, is the organisation that gives farmers in the agricultural world an opportunity to buy land that comes up for sale. So whenever there's land that comes up for sale, um, that land is offered to the farming and the agricultural community through this agency. Um, and they've got um, two months to decide whether they want to buy it. Um, now, unfortunately, um, the vendor's uh, notaire was a week late putting in uh, the paperwork to SAFA. So consequently, that's pushed back the completion by a week. So the plan is to um, move out of here on the 30th and 1st. We've got the uh, removals uh, company coming on the 30th to start the packing and uh, completing that on the, uh, the, on the 1st. And um, 
then they're going to take it down. And uh, the lady that we're buying the house from has been kind enough to allow us to put our furniture into the house, although we're not allowed to live there. So what we're going to do is, after the stuff's been put into the house, we're going to go and stay down with Kath and Pete, uh, whose house you've already seen. So we're going to have a week down there with them. And um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing what they've done. Um, what has happened there is that there was a terrible storm down there, terrible storm, um, centered around Riverack where their house is. Um, apparently hailstones the size of golf balls, huge, huge amount of damage, smashed roofs everywhere, broken windows and, um, yeah, really bad. So, um, we'll be able to see some of the damage that's been done. Um, and uh, I'm going to take some time to speak to Kath and, um, you know, just to talk about her life with you guys because uh, she's led a really interesting life and uh, if she's kind enough to want to do it, which I think she will, um, then I think that'll be really interesting for everybody. So, uh, just want to thank you um, for your patience in um, me not producing the content for the past few weeks. Um, this will be out on Sunday, tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to start filming again properly uh, from Tuesday when we start taking the, uh, uh, the chickens down there and coming back. So, um, there'll be lots of content and lots of... Um, Lots of dramas, I'm sure, along the way. We've had, a, we've had plenty of challenges. Plenty of challenges. Um, but, you know, you just overcome each challenge as it arrives and keep your chin up. And um, Jane's really good, you know. She, uh, she keeps me going and hopefully I'll do the same for her. And uh, anyway, so um, exciting times. Stressful times, but exciting nonetheless. So, thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for all the kind messages, it's very much appreciated. And um, you can like, share and subscribe, and all that malarkey. So, uh, all that leaves to say is, why there you go, and I really will see you soon.